Happy Monday morning-ish, if you consider 12.30 the morning. <laughs> Today is going so fast, um, but I'm just getting started in the studio. I was out of town this weekend, so I had to unpack and I'm doing laundry and the house was just kind of a mess. So I wanted to do that first so I could get focused. So now that that's out of the way, I've printed all of our orders. We got eight new orders this weekend, so that is exciting. And I'm excited to show you like five of them are brand new items that I've not made yet here on this channel. So let's go ahead and make sure we have everything, get organized, and then we will start making these orders. Tell me it's Monday without telling me it's Monday. <laughs> My wrap transferring is not going as planned. So I'm just gonna take a deep breath and I'm gonna do one section at a time. These little stars sometimes give me the hardest time. Um, my little trick that normally works didn't work this time. I don't know if it has to do with these are new transfers. My old transfers, I don't think I have one with me, but had the clear background. So there's definitely a different glue, different paper being used. And this one has the white one and it's sticking to my white. So I do have an extra backup one if this doesn't work. I'll cut little individual pieces out and do it. I just don't like to put a full wrap on and then it'd be crooked or make a mess. So I like to work in sections or that little technique that normally works for me that's not working. So anyways, let's try to get this done. Tumblers are done. The wrap took a lot longer than I thought it would. This needs to go out today. It's actually due to ship tomorrow, but I'm gonna have my husband run it up to the UPS store, which by the way, shipping rates are definitely going up. Um, so I need to make some time to kind of tweak and adjust my shipping prices. But these three tumblers are going to Africa in California. So thank you so much for your order. I hope that you enjoy your new tumblers. So I'm just taking a look at my to-do list. My phone is beeping at me, telling me, not beeping at me, but telling me that my phone is almost full. So I have last week's vlog on there that I need to edit and get uploaded. So I think I'm going to take my computer into the other room, throw on a movie, because that's how I, I like to edit my videos with some background noise and kind of chill out, 
get all this data off of my phone so I can continue today's vlog. So let's go edit and upload my vlog. That's what we're gonna do. All of my orders are placed for my transfers and my apparel items. Those should all arrive within a day or two. And now I'm working on picking the remaining of my orders that we will pack up here in a minute. I am looking for a clear mug right now with this My Crystal Ball Says You're Full of Shit design. Doesn't look like I have it, so we're gonna go over to my blank inventory shelf and we're going to pull out the rest of the items that we need to make our orders. Happy Saturday morning. I am making the Mad Dash before we go to soccer. I just got some things out of my studio space and I'm bringing it in here. So when I get back from soccer, I can start making orders. So long story short, um, we got sick <laughs> Monday after I was vlogging, I got a call from the school. One of my kids needed to be picked up. And then the rest of the week was kind of like a domino effect, another kid, and then me and so on and so on. But everybody's fine. Everybody's feeling good, but I'm a little overwhelmed because I never got to those orders. They are due to ship out on Monday. So it is Saturday, I don't know, 10, 30, 11. And I'm hoping to get them done by like two o'clock today and I might be able to get them to the UPS store. So that is the plan. I am just pulling the additional orders that I got in, you know, since I was vlogging on Monday. So we got like nine more orders to work on. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go to soccer and then start packing these. My workstation is prepped and ready to go. We're going to soccer and when I get back, we're gonna go ahead and start making these orders. We have a few t-shirts, some mini drawstring bags, a tumbler and a mug to make. So I did a post press, which I always do with these designs because you can see there's like glue because I'm using heat transfer paper, which I think I'm just going to switch over to DTFs. Um, and this is what happened. It actually soaked into my Teflon sheet. So Teflon sheet down, I had to redo them and I'm just gonna let my heat press cool down a little bit more and then try to get some of this glue up and then we will be done with these zodiac drawstring bags which they are so cute I interrupt this video to do a quick Q and A. So my last video, I got a question and I thought it would be fun to answer it um, by showing you some examples. If you're new here, I love answering your questions about my small business, uh, especially if you're just getting started and are curious maybe of my vendors or where I get my supplies. 
I'm all about sharing that information. Sharing is caring and I believe there's plenty of room at the table for everyone. Just don't copy what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, ask away. Um, the question was, do you make your own designs? And it is yes and it's no. I do a combination of buying PNGs, G files over on Etsy and making my own. So when I initially started, I didn't know what I was doing. So I just bought my files off of Etsy. This would be an example of different PNG files that I bought and you can create totes with them, t-shirts, um, tumblers. Here's another example, mugs. These are all designs that I purchased from Etsy, but then I gained confidence and I started making my own design. So this would be an example of one of my tumbler wraps as well as this one. And here's a spooky season one right now. I love making these. I have a second shop called Disco Download where you can find these designs for yourself. You can download them and you can use them personally or commercially. So we are about to make this tumbler here right now. This is a ghost cottage core. Is it cottage core or cottage floor? I don't know, I messed that up. But um, this is becoming a number one seller for me. This was a design that I made over a year ago and I recently just posted it. Um, I will admit, when I first started, I didn't have a lot of confidence in my own work, so I was afraid to put things out there. And I'm finding that when I do put my stuff out there, it tends to do better than, you know, the other stuff that I have. So I'm leaning into that. I'm <laughs> and I'm starting to create more from my own stuff. Um, I do use Canva. I do use Kittle to create my designs. Um, and I think I'm probably going to do a video where I show you guys um, how I do that and kind of the do's and don'ts. So anyways, let's go ahead and make this Tumblr wrap and get back to vlogging. I realized that I made a cottage core tumbler with you earlier in this video. So I went ahead and I made that order off camera and now I'm moving on to this mug. I also forgot to show you guys the pink bow, the coquette Western one that I did. I don't know why I didn't show you that. Now that all my orders are ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and start to pack them. This is Oreo, by the way. He came to us a few months ago. My brother-in-law found him on a golf course. Um, and recently we just had a little kitten show up at our door. It took us about a week. We finally got him in and we'll be taking him to the vet soon. So we have a new member. I think we're gonna call him Chewy. Uh, which is short for Chewbacca. Anyways, this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys had fun hanging out. Stay tuned to the next video because we are going to be working on our molds. I'm waiting for those orders to come in. And we're also gonna be making some wax melts. So until the next video, I will see you soon. I hope you're well and bye for now.